DeepSeek is just unstoppable. They just launched their new Janus Pro 7B model, which is a multi-model LLM. And what I mean by multi-model understanding and generation? Well, it can do text to text, text to image, and even text to video. And the other way around, it can explain a video into a text, it can explain an image into a text. And this is cool because all the models out there are specializing in either one or two categories. Maybe there is an image generator or that image generator can generate videos. So here you can see on their Hugging Face page, they claim that this is an autoregressive framework. And one more thing here is that you can see the benchmarks. Let me zoom in a bit. So as you can see, Genesis Pro 7B is on top in the average performance LLM parameters. And if you go for generative evaluation here, you can see that it is on top this purple one. And in the DPG bench, it is on top as well. Now down here, they have some comparisons with the Genesis Legacy model and the Genesis Pro 7B. And as you can see, they have improved a lot. This is a photorealistic image. Same goes here and here. And you can even see that there is some kind of deformation here and in the typography and in the typography here, I think Janus failed miserably. But here Janus Pro 7B is really great at this. So I have really high hopes for this. And to get a quick start, you can just jump to their GitHub repo, which would be this repo here. And if you scroll down, you get the same introduction to the model. Down here, you can see that they have their model download section where you get the Janus 1.3B, Janus Flow 1.3B and Janus Pro 1B, as well as the latest Janus Pro 7B. So you can just download them and use them locally. For that, you just have to run through this installation process. But let me be honest here, this is quite cumbersome for someone new. So what if I told you that there is an easier way for you to actually test it out and play around with this model? So if you go to the Space DeepSeek AI Genesis Pro 7B, you can actually test this out using Hugging Face. So we're going to go and test this out. But first, I'm going to show you that there are two features here. One is multimodal understanding where you can upload any image. You can upload a text. And then there is a text to image generation. So I'm just going to go with multimodal first. I'm going to show you how amazing this is. So here is an example where it's asking us to explain this meme. So this is more like a way around from image to text. So let's go and actually try this out. So this is how it looks. You upload an image and then you ask a question. So the question is explain this meme decoupling visual encoding and then there's a dog crying single visual encoder so let's actually go and click on chat and this should get us the response so the response is pretty fast as you can see it's gonna take around 11.1 second as this is being hosted on a hugging face space so there you go this is the text response from an image this is why I said multi-model LLMs are really cool so let's go and check this out so this image is a humorous comparison between two types of visual encoding methods using the popular buff dog versus jeans. Now here goes in the explanation, but I think this is quite well written. You can even go on and turn on your webcam and go and take a picture and ask it to actually explain something through that. And you can even go and pay something from clipboard. But one sad thing here is that you cannot upload a video, a short video here. On their hugging face for that you can just go ahead and download their local model and try that out so i'm just gonna go and actually try the text to image generation this is something that i really want to test so for the multimodal understanding i think this is more than enough one example and you can try this out yourself and check out how powerful this is but my goal was just to show you how powerful these multimodal llms are now let's go to text to image generation. This is something that I'm really looking forward to. So let's actually try this out. So I'm going to give a detailed prompt here. The more detail can help produce better images. This is what they're claiming. And we have some advanced options here like the CFG weight and temperature of the image. So first I'm gonna go with one of these prompts. This is a really long prompt and let's go and try this out. And as you can see here, it's gonna take around 30 seconds to process this which is quite fast i would say because this is completely free for you so there you go we have the images i can just click on any of these i can download them and enlarge them so this is how it looks so i think the prompt was way too huge and the model tried to add way much detail in a smaller subject 
but overall it's not bad for this huge of a prompt it kept it really composed no glitching so let's go with a really small one here astronaut in jungles so i think this would be a surprise let's actually generate images so this is really cool i think i like this one more than that detailed prompt so this is more like an animated space movie an astronaut is in a jungle let's actually check the different versions here i think this is really great Although the astronaut posture is almost the same, there is some slight differences in the scenery as well as the helmet glass, which is which is really good. I would say I'm just going to go and download this. I really want to keep this. So once you're done with this, let's actually go and try a few more. So I have this prompt here, the face of a beautiful girl. I don't know what Genesis Pro 7B thinks is a beautiful girl. So let's go and generate this image. Although it's not that much realistic, but it is giving me a lot of realistic vibes here. And I like the eye color. The next one is quite similar. Some of the face features are similar. The eye color is a bit different. Okay. But I must say that China can be that giant in the AI industry because it's launching model after model with so much to offer and all of them are open source. So that was all about image generation. But what about typography? So this time I'm just going to go and say the image features the word skill curve written on a blackboard. So this should work. Let's just add a space here. And I'm really excited about this because I've been dying to get good typography results because most of the models out there, they glitch, they deform the text. So I'm really excited to check out the results for Jadis Pro 7B. So there you go, the results are out. And I think this is not half bad, although this is not perfect. Some of the images are really close, like here, but I think by far this is one of the closest one. But again, this one failed in this. So yeah, it did not perform that well in a complex typography. Maybe if it was a smaller word like hi or hey, it would perform better. But again, this is an unbiased review and we at our channel make sure that everything we showcase is unbiased and we give our honest reviews. So yeah, it is lagging behind in the typography as most of the models are there. But I really love the multimodal understanding and it is really cool how powerful this is. So with that said, I want to wrap this video up and I hope this video was interesting. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.